Just what the hell do you think you're doing? You think I'm stupid that I can't tell you're trying to steal that jacket? Look, we don't have bums like you in my store. Could you please get out of here before you turn off the VIP clientele I'm expecting? No, you got this all wrong. I was actually going to buy that men's coat. <laughs> Not smelling like that you aren't. Besides, this jacket, it's way above your pay grade. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm ready to pay cash for it. Can you let me know what I owe you and I'll be on my way? <laughs> cash. Well, unfortunately for you, we actually only take credit cards. There's just been a ton of fraud lately. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <sighs> this is hard earned money, but if you insist on credit, I'll gladly give that to you. <laughs> okay, you must think I'm pretty stupid. What? Let go of me! Don't touch me or I'll call the police! I'm the one who should be calling the police. Look, I don't know what you've got in that stolen purse of yours, but you look more like a con artist than anyone trying to buy a jacket. <laughs> Please, just take a hike before my VIP clients show up. Oh, wow, this is disgusting. You know, come to think of it, I remember you now. On my way to work this morning, I saw you on the corner of 1st and 34th with the homeless. <laughs> I couldn't imagine how someone could wind up such a loser in life and end up on the street. I don't want people like you anywhere near my store. Hello. Hi. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Uh, don't worry about her. <laughs> you must be Mrs. Feinstein. I'm so honored to be able to welcome you to my shop. Your events are legendary. We'd be humbled if you chose us as your supplier for your next charity ball. Well, we're looking to clothe approximately 200 guests in evening wear. So for the men, we're thinking tuxedos. And for the women, maybe a nice sequin dress. Do you have any samplers if we take a look at? This has to be Destiny. Ah, oh, I love sequins. Adore them. I have a ton of clients who come in here looking for that exact thing. I think I have just the thing for you. Baby, come here. Do you know who that is? I have no idea. I try to run a clean store, but sometimes there's nothing you can do except call the police on these people. These people? How dare you? I'm, I'm sorry, I guess that was the wrong term. I meant <laughs> homeless people. To be fair, it's been hell in here recently with shoplifting and fraud, and it's really important to keep an eye on people like that. Oh, it really takes me a lot to get pissed off. But what you just said is utterly disgusting and just shows how ignorant you are. I, I, I normally don't get involved in other people's business, but you just made a huge mistake. Whoa, whoa, ladies. Okay, take it easy. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Okay, they certainly don't need to get aggressive. Uh, with each other. Um, honey, don't you think you might be overreacting just a little bit? Look, I, I know, I know you mean well, okay? And you want to do the right thing, but this isn't your battle. Okay, so can we just please pick something up for our guests and we'll be on our way? <gasps> Absolutely not. What has gotten into you? Why are you so sensitive? Sensitive? What the hell is wrong with you? Okay. Did you not just hear what she said? I can't just stand there and do nothing. I mean, it looks like the only thing that matters to her is keeping up an appearance that's superficial. I prefer to shop at places that, that promote modesty and humility. Okay. okay. Ma'am, please don't leave. I know why you're upset. I saw that woman earlier today rolling up sleeping bags with the homeless, so I just assumed she was one of them. Well, you were wrong. And so what if she was one of them? What makes you a better person than her? Is there anything I can do to make this right? Admitting your mistakes is a sign of maturity. But what if she doesn't accept my apology? Well, we can't always control how people are gonna to react to us, but what we do control is how sincere we are and what we do to own up to our mistakes. That's asking a lot. I'm just a very proud person and I'm not used to making apologies. Just do what's right and you'll be okay. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. 